It's the kind of beat to go. Guys, what's going on? My name is Joey, and we're here for Let's Play number five of our Beginners Let's Play series. Now, I'm pretty excited to bring this to you guys. We're going to be hitting up Mexico City, and I've got to admit, just first off, if you can tell, I've got the most, I don't know the words ratchet, I don't even know what it is, but my lighting system right now is insane, and it is so legit. I wish I could show it to you guys. I'll have to show it to you guys sometime. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid it's going to fall on me right now, just to get rid of shadows, but um, let's go ahead and hit up Mexico City, you guys. We are working on something I don't even know what we're doing. What are we going for here? Defend Captain Zeta while she upgrades at the junkyard. Ooh, we're going to be getting an upgraded Captain Zeta. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fight. Let's see what we're going to go up against. I'm feeling lucky. I really am. Mexico City, el mundo está muerto. Let's see what we're going up against, guys. Let's see it. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse Eating brains while we wait. Balancing difficulty. I love it. All right, so we got some bonus people. So beware of the delivery men. They explode on contact. Take them down fast with ranged units. So this is actually where snipers are going to come in. Those and outlaws, those are going to be key components here. These guys, they're pretty silly. They can take out walls pretty quick, and they can just be a big pain in the butt. So let's go ahead and continue. It'll let me. All right, so here we go. I'm going to end up... Okay, we got already got some snipers here so we actually have a sharpshooter which is an epic version of sniper it has more damage it deals more damage it's a really nice troop so i got one sniper over there and i've got well, two on each side now and we got one outlaw in the middle it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and throw let's put scatter shot here let's put an outlaw over there i'm gonna go ahead and put a gunfighter here hmm let's go ahead and put a contractor there so that's in case the d deliverment actually runs ahead of the horde he will be able to kind of knock him out, get him out of the game, and then we can move on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my firefighter over here with a medic, and we're going to go ahead and start the waves. Hopefully, we'll get a good kind of result out of this. We're, I'm not really sure what's going to happen just yet. All right, where, there's, there's delivery men. Take them out, snipers. Come in. Oh, my Lord. This is going to be scary. Okay, I don't want to actually risk that. Never mind. I take it back. So here we go. Let's go look at this really quick. So you guys can read that description. Uh, here's the specifics, at least. Explodes the greatly dam okay. Explodes and greatly damages everything nearby. Shoot him from long range. Blow him up near the horde for extra kills. So he can actually take out his own zombie friends. You could say he gets the job done for us, guys. And then let's go ahead and check out some of these other guys. So stuns his target. We can lock down dangerous zombies. Beware of zombies with ranged attacks. So contractors and these are also handymen are very good at just kind of just delaying the horde a bit, especially when you get those titans and other guys up close. He pretty much just keeps them out of order from doing their thing by sort of knocking them out. EMT is just a better medic or alternate version. And then Scattershot, my personal favorite, which is pretty much a beefed up mercenary. My favorite, by far. So we're going ahead and take out some people. Okay, hopefully we can take out this. Ah, take them out. Oh my gosh, so scary. You guys don't even understand. I'm like horrified. Okay, let's throw down a gunfighter there, and I'm going to start throwing out some extra peeps right over here, because we got to start defending like crazy. Okay, I'm going to go throw ahead, throw, ugh, getting tongue-tied here. <coughs> oh my gosh, my guys are going down. I'm officially stressed out. Oh my lord. Go to work. Go to work, people. Do work. Do work. That was probably one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. I'm going to go ahead and start stacking this area over here just in case they do end up getting by. That there is okay. It's doing all right. It could be better, but whew, let's first look at this, and it's looking pretty sketch. Okay, delivery men. Take them out. Take them out. And down go my people. However, it's okay because I actually ended up saving up, getting ready on this end right here to sort of start taking out people. Stim up those snipers. Hopefully, we can take out that spitter really quick. Maybe with a couple more shots, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw down a scatter shot over here and hopefully take out that spitter with one more shot. And there's the win, guys. So right here, it's really important to take out the delivery men as quick as possible. However, you kind of want to strategize a little bit on where you're going to place your units and kind of backup pads. As you can see, I kind of started placing guys in the middle just in case we didn't run into any problems. What did we get here? We got some cans. We got paramedic and a sniper. Sweet. I love it. Good stuff. Continue resources we'll need to gather resources so this is actually a really nice feature we can actually start placing units in here to sort of 
boost our collecting amount. So if we throw in a firefighter here, that's going to change that a little bit and give us a bit of a boost. And it's the same for the crate. So the higher unit you place in there, say I was to place my, let's throw in my, okay, so right now we're at maximum 480. And if I was to say put in Captain Zeta, we're going to head up to 560. So it just kind of tears up a little bit. It gets better, things like that. So I'm going to actually take out Captain Zeta because I don't want to leave her in there yet. I'm going to throw in a, uh, see, yeah, I'm just going to throw in a Merc or something like that. Keep it easy here. And I'm going to go ahead and back to my team. I'm going to change my team up a bit. I'm going to kind of put in my main squad here. Let me go ahead and just kind of clear everything up. Let me put in all these guys so I can kind of manage it a little bit better. Get my highest level units. Okay. Except, let's change it back. Get the, rid of these guys. And I'm going to throw in my sniper, mercenary, Captain Zeta. Let's throw in my lumberjack and firefighter and we're definitely going to need a medic of some sort i'm gonna throw in my paramedic so guys at this point you really want to start upgrading your troops more so i'm going to actually start working on this is going to be my last video i'm going to kind of pre-schedule this one a little bit i'm gonna start working a lot of my upgrades i'll bring back in episode six for you guys what i'm going to have done but definitely i'd focus definitely on your firefighters your medics to kind of heal them a little bit quicker your snipers and try to have at least one gun gunfighter or something like that Level it up a little bit more too. And also Captain, Beta, Captain Zeta is also nice to have upgraded too. Let's go ahead and accept this. We're going to go ahead and fight. And guys, I'm actually going to kind of cut it at some point. Play a little through myself and then come back once we got to near the finale. So, because most of these maps are going to be very similar. So I'm just going to kind of play this one. We'll come back. And then we'll reevaluate. So, next one is we're going to get some crates here. I'm going to go ahead and fight El Mundo Estoberto. All right, guys, so I'm actually going to finish this one here. Then I'm going to come back when I hit the finale, and then we'll go from there. So, last attack before the finale. And if you guys ever need any help, go ahead. Go. I'm always welcome. You guys are always welcome to com throw some comments in down there. I'm always looking at my comment section. I'm always happy to answer some for you guys. I am loving. To, I love answering questions for you guys. That's kind of my one of my favorite things to do for y'all. So, feel free to throw questions down there. I'm always up for that. <coughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and throw, let's throw a sniper back here. Sniper there. This is a very interesting little setup. I'm going to be honest. I'm not really sure how I want to take this on. Because it looks like we're going to have some dare... Excuse me. Daredevils mostly. But then also we're going to start running into some other guys. So I'm going to actually use Captain Zeta in this situation with my mercenary on this end. To kind of cover that pad. Over here I'm going to throw more of my melee units. Which is going to be my lumberjack, my firefighter, and those guys. And I also have some more melee units here, so I'm gonna throw those. Those are pretty high level, level five and four. They're doing pretty well over there. So we actually have a sniper over here as well to kind of help take out some of those delivery men. But where's our first pad gonna be coming from? Right over here. So I actually don't have too many people, just one sniper focusing in on this area. Hopefully we can take out that delivery man. He's gonna end up taking out that wall for me. Come on, pick him off, barely miss him. Looks like those guys are actually gonna probably reach that sniper, sadly. But in a way, it's okay because I'm actually going to be able to throw down some firefighters here. Move them into a better position before they actually do end up reaching that sniper. And he remains safe. I'm going to go ahead and start this wave. Start. Ah, I can't. I'm going to start kind of setting this pad up for a little bit of extra safety here. I'm going to start that one as well. These guys, they may go down a little bit. Let me go ahead and throw down that guy to handle some of the various. What am I doing? Drawing it there. I don't even know why I put it there. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, geez. I just sent two. Okay. It's got a whole lot more interesting, guys. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. I'm going to move him over there so he has a better view of everything. Hopefully, we'll pick off some of those delivery men. We got a whole bunch of people coming in here real quick, guys. Look at that. Chain reaction. I love that. If you take out one, if he catches another one, he's out. All right. So, it looks like we just got a couple drones to deal with over here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another Merc. Help take out those guys. These guys are handling it fairly well, but they just went down pretty fast i'm gonna throw down another medic and let's throw down another lumberjack so we're actually doing very well these guys over here are doing golden let's throw down another lumberjack to help kind of defend i think that's gonna be all though last couple drones go down that's the win so moral of the story here guys make sure your snipers are in range you want to have a couple snipers out you want to have as many snipers as you can out there causing problems for those daredevils at least level three i think that'll kind of get the one shot for those guys probably preferably be four or five but We'll go from there. Um, have as many snipers as you can out there. Kind of sniping, taking out those mutated zombies. You want to get those daredevils as quick as possible. Daredevils, what am I saying? Delivery men. Lord, B, it's late. <laughs> Shouldn't be doing this. But guys, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it right now. I'm going to pop back in just a second with the final finale you could say for this map. So guys, stick with me. I'll be right back.
Hey guys, so we are back with part two. This is gonna be the finale. When I went ahead and finished the rest of those rounds, now they were all a very similar map. I actually did end up finding a pretty sweet little trick that I'll end up showing you guys if I can actually utilize it in this. It's actually the making use of the flare, sort of distracting delivery man for a long enough time, and then sort of using that as a bit of a twist and end up taking out most of that side of the horde. So let's go ahead and fight here. This team's actually been going pretty well for me. I'm actually borrowing a lumberjack from my larger account that's level 43. You know, no big deal. It's not that exciting, guys. I'm not level 50. I'm not one of the top players, but I've got a pretty decent squad. All right, so defend the junkyard so I can upgrade Destructor. I'm down for that. Let's go for an upgrade, guys. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to utilize the exact same strategy on this round, guys. But we'll see what I can put together. So let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and throw down some stuff. All right, so the first group is going to be coming from this direction over here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my sniper back here because he's pretty well defended. He's pretty just chilling in the back, and he's going to get the best defense, you could say. Captain Zeta is going to go chill over here. I need to start working on upgrading Captain Zeta a little bit more, I must say. I'm going to go ahead and throw down most of my lumberjacks, you could say. And I'm going to throw down a Merc over here, and I'm leaving a lot of extra room for explosions over here. I've got to say, it's not too exciting here. But let's go ahead and just throw down this group and just hope for the best while we get some reloading. So I'm going to go ahead and send this group over here. Let's go ahead and check out how it goes. Hopefully we can pick off that delivery man. That sniper picks them off perfectly. Level 4 will get that done for you guys. Take out the delivery man in one shot if it's in range soon enough. So it looks like we took out the wave very well. This is the first wave coming out from way over here. I send it very, very early. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw down a firefighter. Almost a sacrifice to take out that delivery man for me. And just kind of to delay time a little bit. Because he's going to cause some serious problems for those firefighters right there. Did he just take them both down? All right. So I went ahead and threw down an extra firefighter. I'm going to move these guys all the way back here. Throw down a Merc. And let's go ahead and start sending some extra waves here. So the sniper's just about healed up here. I'm going to go actually. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another sniper back here. To help take out some of these guys for me. Let's go ahead and use a flare over here. Now, this actually utilized it pretty well. What I did is I drew all the zombies together, and then once the delivery man was taken out, he actually ended up taking out a bulk of the horde. You can do this on the sooner levels. It's a really great method. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys if I can in just a moment. Let me go ahead and start taking out some of these guys, though, because it looks like we ran into some problems. Okay, Merc, Merc. Uh, look what happens. I'm not even paying attention. Stuff happens. Things blow up. So as you saw right there, it actually blew up most, blew up most of the horde. See, look at that. They're just taking out their own guys. They don't even know it. Oh my lord, Captain Zeta just blew up, and she was trying to get to the junkyard. Oh my gosh. All right, so let me go ahead and move these guys into a little bit closer position. Take out these last couple drones, and we got the win. Here we go. 337 trophies. I love it. We picked off the win. No complaints over here. All right, let's see, Captain Zeta, what are you going to be like? Continue. Show the rewards, or what do we win? I love it. Sniper gunfire and some cans can't complain let's go ahead and continue there mexico city el mundo esto muerto and we got a commander zeta upgraded and involved even better in the flesh so moral of the story for the end of this episode guys really start working on your upgrading right now work on farming get your units up higher that's what i'm gonna be doing the next couple days while you guys watch these videos and learn from them i'm gonna make sure I have these guys up daily for you guys each and every day for you guys to learn so Make sure to start working on upgrading your troops, guys. Upgrade those core units, those firefighters. If you've got a fire chief, upgrade your fire chief. If you got a EMT or a paramedic, upgrade the more rare version. If you got a sniper, get that sniper going. If you got a sharpshooter, get that going. Uh, pick your favorite gunfighter. Gunfighter, Merc, Scattershot, whatever you have. Pick your favorite. Start upgrading that. Upgrade those core units. And, of course, upgrade your hero unit, Captain Zeta. She's going to be your best bet against most situations. So that's pretty much our big spiel of the day, guys. Let me go ahead and throw... You know what? That's going to be called today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.